Hi guys, today I'm here to tell you all about my hair and answer all your most asked questions about my hair. I was really flattered that you guys requested this video. It's so sweet of you to like my hair. Um, I personally like my hair. I honestly never knew if I could get it to the point where it's at now, which is really long. I mean, it's like so long it's out of camera, out of frame. Um, and just all natural. I've never had extensions or anything like that. So I just thought I'd tell you about my journey of growing it out, um, maintaining the blonde, which by the way, my shirt says smart blonde. It's from Wild Fox. I had to wear it for this video, obviously. <laughs> um, and just everything I do for daily styling, upkeep, keeping upkeep, keeping it healthy, um, and the supplements I take and I don't know, everything, everything to do with my hair. So let me just dive in real quick right now because there's a lot to cover. So first of all, I'll give you a quick history of my hair. I'll insert some photos while I'm telling you this. But um, basically I was born a toehead blonde. Like I almost had white hair growing up. It was really, really blonde when I was little. Um, I think naturally with most blondes, it gets darker as you age. So mine got more of like a dirty blonde. As I got older, I'd say by like high school, it was like dirty blonde or maybe even like a light honey brown. Um, but I always thought of it as blonde, even though it just naturally does get darker. But I never dyed it. In fact, I didn't dye it at all. When was it? When I met my husband. Yeah. Um, and we started dating. I got it in my head that he liked brunettes. It was just one of those weird, like insecure dating moves where I was like, I thought maybe he might like brunette, so I like dyed my hair out of a box. Dark brown, dark, dark brown. But deep down, I just, I don't know, I always just felt like a blonde. <laughs> so objectively speaking, I feel like I might look better with dark hair. I think it might look better with my skin tone. And I have green eyes. I feel like lighter colored eyes really pop with dark hair. But I don't even care. I just love being a blonde. Like it's part of my identity. I feel like whatever color hair you have as a kid becomes part of your identity. I don't know, maybe it's true. Maybe blondes do have more fun. <laughs> whatever the case, I finally decided, you know what? Dramatic change. My hair was pretty long back then, not this long, but fairly long. And I decided to chop it off into a, like a chin length bob and go platinum bleach blonde, which was, in retrospect, not the healthiest decision for my hair. It was fun though, but um, maybe the salon shouldn't have even agreed to do that all at once because it was very dramatic. Like it's you're supposed to kind of lighten your hair gently. I don't know if you're supposed to darken it slowly as well, but I know at least lightening it is you know pretty damaging. So I just went like bleach blonde <laughs> in, in one long night at the salon and it fried my hair. It totally changed my hair. It was almost like I got a hair transplant because the texture was different. The way it dried was different. The way it styled, it was like someone else's hair. And I was like, whoa, what do I do with this? Um, <laughs> it took me a while. I stayed platinum. In fact, I had like streaks of pink and purple at different points too. For a few years, maybe just a couple years, I don't know. But then I finally was like, you know what? it's time to just have the hair of my dreams. <laughs> and what had been holding me back was I felt like it would take so long to grow it out. But in my like heart of hearts, I always pictured, this is so cheesy, but you know when you're a little girl and you're like playing with your doll's hair? <laughs> I remember just playing with my Barbie's hair and thinking like one day when I'm grown up, I'm gonna play with my own hair like this. And I just always felt that way. <laughs> so I always wanted to have long blonde hair. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go for it. And I feel like there should be a way to have long hair that's blonde but also healthy and i didn't know if it was possible but two years later i'm here to say it's possible and i'm so happy with my hair i'm not filming this in daylight so i don't know if like the tone of my hair is coming off right i don't know if you can tell it's it's glossy and healthy and i'm just so happy with it like it it pretty much air dries this way um back when i was like bleach bleach blonde it air dried like so badly <laughs> so this is a big relief that i can just let it air dry. I'll like straighten any natural waves out of it, but that's pretty much all I do. But I'm fast forwarding. I'll get to that when I get to the styling section. So first I was telling you how I grew it out. The first thing I did was, you know, obviously stop cutting it. I stopped bleaching it everywhere. I started just getting highlights, which is what I have now. I'll touch on that more in a second. And I started taking supplements to support my hair growth goals. So this is the first one I've been taking for years. Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin and Nails. Let me say, this is not sponsored. Nothing in this video or any of my videos is ever sponsored. This is just a real girl telling you what she uses. 
I'm not about to whip out like some sugar bear hair and tell you it's the best thing ever. <laughs> but anyway, this is what I use. I literally just get it at Target. I love that it has argan oil. Argan oil is so good for your hair. I literally put argan oil on my hair, but also I take it in a supplement form. Plus this has biotin, which is well known to be like the best for hair growth. It has like almost 2000% of your daily biotin. Um, plus vitamins A, C, D, E, pretty much everything that could remotely help your hair, skin, or nails is in here. So I love it. I take three a day. Oops, sorry. I just dropped this on my dog. Sorry, baby. Um, okay, the next thing that has really helped, and I've only started incorporating this in the past six months or so, is collagen. Collagen is everything for your hair and skin. Um, this one's by Vital Proteins brand. I feel like everybody loves them. Yet again, I'm not sponsored or anything, but... I do love this brand and I love this one because it's marine collagen. I am pescatarian, so I don't eat meat, just seafood. Um, and most collagen is made from cow like hide and bones and cows are too cute. I can't do it. So <laughs> fish are cute too. Don't get me wrong, but I do prefer to take the marine one. Um, also, I've heard the marine one is more targeted at hair, skin and nails, whereas bovine collagen is more targeted at joints. So. That's another perk of this. It's not cheap, guys. I'm not going to lie. It is not cheap. But that's because these are wild-caught, non-GMO, very healthy source of fish protein. Like, you don't want to be getting some kind of factory-farmed, antibiotic-ridden, you know, just very unhealthy source of fish collagen. This is from the actual Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. It's sourced in a very sustainable, healthy way. So this is a collagen I feel good taking. All that to say, it really has helped grow my hair. I add one scoop to my coffee. I swear you cannot taste it. And I add one scoop to my like oatmeal or smoothies or anything else. I try to get two scoops a day. So those are the supplements I do. Then another thing that truly helped grow my hair was oils. The main one for growing hair, you've probably heard is castor oil. This is organic, cold pressed, the good stuff. And let me tell you, it works wonders. Like. I was putting on this this on my eyebrows and I had to stop. Like my eyebrows started getting crazy. I've never been the type, like what you see is pretty much all I have. That's all I got for eyebrows. Um, I've never been the type to need threading or waxing because there's like nothing to do. Like I, I wish I had bigger brows, but I don't. But then when I started using this, it got crazy. It got really crazy. Like for the first time in my life, I had hairs to pluck that were like not in the right zone. Um, to the point where I actually dialed back on using this on my brows. So this really works for hair growth. And what I do is the night before I wash my hair, I massage this into my scalp, like really massage, like get the blood flowing. The whole point is to increase circulation to your scalp, which gives your hair much needed love and helps it grow. So I mix it with some almond oil, also organic. This is like a more thin consistency and this is really thick. That's the main reason I mix them, although almond oil is also great for your hair. It's full of vitamin A. Um, but mixed, they just work better. Like castor oil is almost too thick to massage with. It's crazy. <laughs> so I mix these in. I go to town. I mean, I my hair type is dry. Like it's not, I don't, I don't think, I think I could go like a year without washing my hair and it would never get greasy. It just, <clears throat> it's just too dry. So everything I do with my hair routine is to add moisture. Um, you might have a different hair type, but either way, the oil washes out. So even if you do have like a tendency for more oily scalp or greasy hair, this is still a great way to promote growth. Um, I do it the night before. I massage it all over my scalp, really get the blood flowing. And then I also bring it down into the ends to keep them healthy. Put it up in a bun, sleep on it, like put on a pillowcase you don't care about, sleep on it, and the next morning I wash it out. Um, let's see. Another oil that's great for your hair is coconut oil. This one, I'll just put a little bit in the ends. Or if I wanna do like an intense afternoon treatment or something, I'll gob this all throughout. Doesn't take that much though. Not too much, cause it's hard to wash out. And I'll put it in a bun and I'll either like run the blow dryer on it to get a little heat to open up the hair follicles or just let it soak for a couple hours and then wash it out. And then the last sort of hair growth tip is this mask. I get it at Target to strengthen and restore treatment mask. It's by Shea Moisture Brand and it's so moisturizing. Your hair will feel so silky when you're just in the shower with this. I love it. But actually my specific thing I do with this mask is I put it in. If you have access to a sauna or a steam room, 
go sit in there for as long as you can and it really really helps the hair soak in plus this will protect your hair you know the sauna is like a really dry heat um, you don't want to like damage your hair in that so I like to put this in to both protect my hair and make the mask work better anytime I get a chance to go to a sauna that's what I do um, if I can't do the sauna like I said you can do the dry the blow dryer just to heat your hair up so those are my big tips for growing it out like I said it only took I think about two years because it was pretty much when I moved to California that I decided okay I'm gonna try to have the hair in my dreams <laughs> so i'll show you that picture of where i was two years ago and where i am now but i think the difference is pretty crazy how fast it's grown and those are all the tips i mean other than obviously eating well staying hydrated getting exercise all the normal you know being healthy stuff um okay so now let me tell you what i do in the shower First of all, I only wash my hair one to two times a week. Like I said, it doesn't really get greasy. So the main reason I ever wash it is because I put too much shit in it. <laughs> like it just needs to be, I need to wash out all the crap I've done to it so I can do it again. So one to two times a week, I use this Blonde Ale Purple Shampoo and Conditioner by Dry Bar. I swear by this stuff. It is the best purple shampoo I've found and I have tried them all. Um, it's great for blondes. It's great if you're not blonde. It takes any brassiness out of your hair. So highly recommend it. it. Smells amazing. It's not too drying. It works fast. Like I said, I don't know if the tone of my hair is coming through or not, but it's, it's very ashy and that's how I like it. I don't like, um, a brassy golden blonde, golden blonde at all. <laughs> so I use that one to two times a week. If I don't need it, like right now, I think I'm pretty toned because I went to the stylist this past week. But if I don't need it, I'll use this instead. This is the Fukai Brilliant Glossing Shampoo. It smells so, so good. So, so, so good. Oh, I love it. They used to have a Brilliant Glossing Spray that had the same scent. And it was honestly like I would wear it as perfume. It was so nice. Um, but this is a nice glossy shampoo. I just don't use it that much because it's not purple. Um, then I have the Saki Bomb Nourishing Conditioner by Dry Bar. So nourishing. I just really like, I love that silky feeling when I'm washing the conditioner out of my hair and this gives me that, but then also I don't look greasy when I get out. And then lastly, if I feel like I really need a deep condition, I'll use this Ultimate Remedy by Shu Umura. I always mean to look up how to pronounce things before I film these videos and then I don't. <sighs> but this is a, a hair mask and I will either leave it in, in the shower, take a long shower and let it work, or I'll even sleep in it. Like I said, put on a pillowcase you don't care about. I say we can sleep in our hair treatments, even if it just says like 10 minutes, like why not, you know? So that works pretty well for me when I need like a shot of hydration. Okay, these are the two things I use. This is a wet brush i love it i love the color i'm not going to show you the bristles because i forgot to take the hair out of it <laughs> and this comb what is this comb called shoot it like rubbed off but i'll put it down below this comb is like infused with argan oil it in no way feels greasy or oily it does not make your hair oily at all but i just something about the way it brushes your hair it, it helps that it has the oil infused i can't really describe it but i really like this comb you know, it's good when you just need to like straighten your hair out, but you don't want to have that overly perfect look of brushing it. Okay, so now I'll tell you a little bit about how I style my hair. Um, as soon as I get out of the shower, the first thing I do is put on a toning protection spray. This is by Bedhead. It's called Dumb Blonde, unlike my shirt. <laughs> Uh, and I love that it's another purple treatment. Like how, however much purple I can get in my hair, I'm all for it. So this works well, it protects it from the heat. Um, and that's my first step always. Then I've been following up with this Fakai Glossing Styling Cream, which also smells amazing. Yeah, oh, it smells so good. And I'll just, it's almost like lotion for your hair. I'll just put a little bit, um, like maybe from here down while my hair's wet and I'll brush all of that through. I usually try to let my hair air dry as much as possible. Since I only wash it one to two times a week, I feel like using heat on it one to two times a week is not that bad, but I'll let it air dry like 99% of the time. Oh, and then I put in a little drop of this Bumble and Bumble Brilliant Teen. Um, I talked about this in my Sephora haul. It's like such a 
indescribable product, but I do feel like it does just zhuzh it up a little bit. So I put all those in while it's wet, let it air dry as much as I can, then I'll blow dry it, just like rough blow dry it the last little bit. And then I use this bad boy. This straightener is called Coriolis Professional Straightening Iron. My aunt got this for me when I was a freshman in college. And I don't want to call myself out, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> Let's see how long ago. Oh my gosh, that was like 14 years ago, you guys. Holy cow. But we're not talking about how old I am. We're talking about how amazing this straightener is because I've literally used it every single day. Well, no, I guess not. I just said I only wash my hair twice a week. I've literally used this like twice a week for 14 years. That's crazy, isn't it? Am I doing that? Yeah. 13 years. That's crazy. I'm 31. So anyway, I couldn't recommend this straightener more than that. I don't even know if it's still on the market. If I can find it, I'll link it below because this thing's amazing. It still does a great job all these years later. Um, so that said, I've been wearing my hair straight lately. I, I don't know. I love being able to run my fingers through it. My husband loves to play with it and I love when he plays with it. That's my, my favorite thing at the end of the night when he's watching TV and playing with my hair. Oh, it's the best. So I wear it straight for that reason, just to like encourage that. But also my hair does not hold a curl or a wave at all. Like anytime you've ever seen me with my hair wavy, just know it was totally deflated and ugly like two hours later. <laughs> I don't know why. I have to go to extreme measures, extreme measures to get it to hold. Like I have to use crazy heat, I have to use crazy products, I have to hairspray before, during, and after, and it's just not good for my hair. I love the look of wavy hair, I think it's so beautiful, Ugh, it's such a nice style, but I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact it might not be for me, at least not regularly. Like I want to do what's right for my hair, I worked so hard to get it to this point, I'm not going to throw it away by over styling it or abusing it to try and force it to take a shape it clearly doesn't want to take so for the most part this is how i wear it um i like to do a deep side part i like to get a little lift but it's kind of deflated tonight um or i just started dabbling in the middle part as you guys know um yeah did i talk about how i get it dyed yet i don't think i did okay let me finish talking about how i style it and then i'll get to that part so after i let it dry or blow dry it a little bit then i straighten it here's another product i've been using since college not this exact bottle but this product it's the ion straightening solutions you get it at like sally's beauty supply and i just distinctly remember like my freshman year in college that's when that like stick straight hair was really in my aunt was so sweet and got me this straightener that i still have and use to this day and my roommate my college roommate was like showing me how to do it and she was like get this stuff You'll love it. And to this day, I still use this stuff and it lasts forever. The ex it says it expires in 30 months. So yeah, I'd say about every two and a half years I replace it. <clears throat> but it's very, like, do not spray this directly on your hair. It would make your hair greasy. Instead, I just spray like a half a pump, maybe not even, in the palm of my hand. I do this and I just run it through the ends and it is like the best heat protectant. Like, I can put that straightener through so smoothly with no snags, no damage. It just glides through like silk. I love it so much. So yeah, I didn't, I've never even tried another heat protector. Like this has just been my jam for all these years. And it's vegan and par paraben free. So I love that product. <laughs> okay, then I use this dry oil or this treatment oil by Dry Bar. I love Dry Bar products if that hasn't become clear. Um, I think it's a brand that stands behind their products every single day all across the country, 24 hours a day, somebody somewhere is using these products and they just have to back it up. Like their whole reputation depends on people's hair looking awesome with these products all day, every day. So that's the main reason I gravitate towards dry bar products. They also smell amazing. They're great on my hair. I don't know. I just really like it. So I've been slowly transitioning more and more into my lineup. That said, I don't really go to dry bar for blowouts very often. I kind of got into this bad habit of going like once a week. Um, and A, that's just super crazy expensive. And B, I don't feel like they're as good to my hair as I am, which I'm not saying anything bad about dry bar. I think the stylists are amazing, but I did have like one or two kind of unfortunate experiences. Like 
You know how your hair will kind of just get a quick little tangle while you're brushing it and you just have to gently detangle it? Um, <laughs> the last time I was there, instead of taking the time to gently detangle it, she took a fine tooth comb and just chink, just ripped it out and this little tiny little rat's nest just came out and just dropped it on the floor. And I was like, <gasps> like that's gonna take me years to grow back that little chunk. Like that was years of my life that just dropped it on the floor so nothing bad about any specific stylist I'm sure it's just like any other job like you're in a rush sometimes you gotta cut a corner or two but I don't want that corner to be cut on my hair so plus it's a lot of heat and so I just try to reserve it for very special occasions now and not go as much and just style it myself with as little heat as possible but that said I do like to put a little bit of their oil just in the ends. I find it really good and hydrating for those like split ends, those like frazzly ends, but it doesn't look oily or greasy. Okay, dry shampoo. Everybody loves it. I'm like eh about it. This is the one I do like if I'm gonna use it. The Moroccan oil for light tones. It's so good. Like, I mean color wise, it really matches the color of my hair perfectly. I love it, it has a little purple to it, so it really tones your hair, um, and it works great. It's just that dry, um, dry shampoo is by nature drying. That's the whole point. So I don't like to put too much of it in my hair. Um, what I do prefer to put is dry conditioner. Have you guys heard about dry conditioner? It's like such a no-brainer, yet when I saw that it existed, I was like, <gasps> I actually bought it on accident. <laughs> I was trying to buy dry shampoo when I got home, and I was like, this is even better. Um, same premise as dry shampoo, but you do it more so in the ends and the mid lengths of your hair. And it just, I don't know, it freshens it up, but it also moisturizes it. It smells amazing. Love it. But here is my favorite styling product. It's called Sparkling Soda. It's dry bar yet again. And it's a shine mist, but not to be confused with making your hair look oily or gross in any way. It just really gives it that certain something and oh, it's so good. I love the smell of this. My husband freaks out over this smell. Like he doesn't know that it's this, but he'll smell my hair and be like, oh, your hair smells so good. And he'll like try to eat my hair and it's because of that product. <laughs> so I highly recommend it for that, re that reason. Okay, last styling product I wanna talk about is sunscreen. Your, suns your hair needs protection from the sun, just like your skin, just like everything. So this one, it's not my favorite one. I'm still trying to find my favorite one. This is my sun bum. It's called Shine On. It's UV protecting. The thing is, it's like, I keep trying not to get my hands oily, but I think I'll have to show you. It's very thick. Like, will my camera even focus on that? Okay, well, that was kind of pointless to try to show you that, but it's a very thick oil which is fine for the ends of my hair, but what needs protection from the sun is this. And I don't wanna put anything that thick and greasy up here. I wanna put it down here where it's really dry. So I'm looking for like a lightweight mist that I can just kind of mist around the crown of my head for sun protection. But until I find that, what I do is I just rub some of this in my hands and I just sort of lightly fluff it onto the top of my hair and get the ends of my hair and just know that I have some protection that way. So those are all the products I use on my hair on the daily. Um, like I said, I only wash it twice a week. So generally to freshen it up, I'll use like the dry conditioner, the, the shining spray and the sunscreen every day. Okay, sorry, my camera battery died. Um, okay, so those are all the products I use to style my hair on the daily. So now I'll tell you about when I get it dyed, basically what I do. Like I said, I was platinum blonde and I switched to getting highlights and I'm very, very happy with that switch. I feel like I still maintain, basically when I go to the salon, I tell my stylist, I wanna look as blonde as possible, but keep my hair healthy. And this seems to be the perfect middle ground for me. So first of all, if you're in the LA area, I go to Chateau Salon. It's in this cute little town called Montrose, which is north of the city. Um, the guy I go to is named Eli. He's amazing. I love him. He's the best. Not only is he just work miracles on my hair, he's just like, he doesn't talk, which I love. Like, I like to just zone out or like bring my laptop and be productive and not have to chit chat the whole time. I don't know. That's, that's kind of neither here nor there. 
But I like that he's just really good at his job and he's nice, but he also just, he just kind of lets me like chill, which is cool. But anyway, I highly recommend him. I'll put his info down below. But if you're not in this area and you can't go to him, when you go see your stylist, if you're interested in achieving a similar look, A, bring pictures. You can bring my picture if you want, <laughs> if you like this color. But bring a picture of somebody you really like because pictures are worth a thousand words and that'll make sure you and your stylist are on the same page. You're seeing the same thing. Because when you say blonde, he might picture golden blonde. And when you say, but you might be picturing... <laughs> Because when you say blonde, you might be picturing ashy blonde and he might hear golden blonde. So a picture is like there's no miscommunication, you're on the same page. Um, but beyond that, I just ask for a full head of highlights, which means I get highlights all through this section. There's a section in the back that does not, like see this darker section? This is not, this is my natural hair that has not been highlighted, nor has it seen the sun. <laughs> so it's very dark. But I think that mix of tones makes it look more natural. Um, you know, I liked being platinum blonde and having every strand of my hair perfectly blonde, but it just wasn't worth the toll that it was taking on my hair. So this is much better for me. Um, another tip to ask your stylist is I always ask for highlights back here too. I think traditionally the highlights would maybe just be like this section, but then when you put it up in a ponytail, you have all this dark hair showing. So I like to get these little hairs around the edge, like the whole edge of my hair to be highlighted. That way when you do a ponytail, it'll go up. Actually, that's a tip from my friend Jen, so she knows what's up. Um, <laughs> so that is how I get my highlights done. That's what I ask for. And I go about every two months. I used to go every three months, depending on how your stylist does it, it might grow out. Like I could easily milk it for three months. Like it grows out really naturally. When I had every hair dyed from root to tip, platinum like it just grew out in like a chunk and it was very very obvious and I had to go get it done but with highlights you know they just zigzag through your hair they only take certain strands and so it just grows out much more naturally and I feel like I can get away with it longer but that said I, there's nothing like the freshness of just I don't know getting your blonde touched up it just feels so good so I like to go every two months for that reason but is there anything else I don't get it cut honestly I do not get it cut my ends are pretty healthy, I think, thanks to all the oils I use. And I, I trust my stylist to tell me, like, girl, it's time. Like, we gotta cut. We gotta do a little dusting and get those ends off. But he hasn't he hasn't said that in a while. And like, I'm not gonna remind him because I like to not cut my hair. I like to just let it grow and be free. <laughs> but I know people say you have to cut your split ends to let it grow. I personally didn't find that to be true with growing my hair out. Um, okay, I just remembered one thing I forgot to talk about. These are my favorite hair ties of all time. It's the kind that has like a knot in it and it's like a thicker band. It doesn't crimp your hair, it doesn't damage your hair, yet it has good holding power. Like I have a lot of hair. Whenever I get it styled, they complain. Like there's so much of it, it just takes forever. So this will hold even as much hair as I have. It holds really well. And then this one's a similar concept. It has this cute little bow, which I really like because it looks like a cute bracelet when I'm not putting my hair up, which I can't leave the house without a hairband. Like I have to put my hair in a ponytail at least once a day. Like that's how I get shit done. Okay. I think I talked, I think that was everything. If you had a question that I didn't cover, leave it in the comments. I always read and get back to you guys. Um, or hit me up on Instagram. I'll get back to you there too. I can always do a follow up if I missed a lot, but hopefully that was pretty thorough and I told you everything there is to know about my hair and what I recommend. And I hope it helped you guys. Um, I hope you all achieve <laughs> your dream hair, whatever baby doll you used to play with and dream that it would be your hair. I hope you have that hair one day <laughs> because we all deserve it and it's just so much fun to play with your hair. So, and hit subscribe if you're new here, stick around. It's so great to connect with you guys and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye.